I'm cooking for Bozo's desert dinner party tonight, and he's teaching me a slow-cooked meat dish called Kud Gadgosh, made with goat. It's so very just... basic. There's nothing much. No. There's no finery in this. No. The Nirtamasha, as so... they call it in India. So this is basically tenderizing the goat. It's just tenderizing the goat. This is something you grew up with. This is what, yeah. This is this is pretty much the kind of stuff where one sort of always grew up seeing all the elders, like uh -huh. sort of the uncles, and they were my father and everyone cooking when we are, went out shooting initially. Yeah. Now with the masalas. The goat leg will be smothered in a masala mix made with chili one, and turmeric. Two, three. And now. Well, one of the local spices is very indigenous to Rajasthan. You won't probably get it anywhere else. It's something which we call over here Katri. Katri. Yeah, and it's 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 a family of melon, mm -hmm. wow. and it's it works as a tenderizer. It also so sort of gives it that little tangy flavour. Fresh Katri comes from a small brown melon, and it's only found in Rajasthan. Mix the ghee. Mix the ghee. Wow. This helps to keep it juicy mm -hmm. and doesn't let you know things dry up too much. Take it out. Now comes the surprising bit. We moisten sackcloth and muslin, then lay banana leaves on top, which we'll use to wrap up the goat. Now, what we need to do is get the Indian bread. Indian which is bread. The chapati. The chapati. So it's almost like a, a Wellington, like a goat Wellington. We have a fillet of beef Wellington. Okay. A traditional, you know, sort of 70s retro dish, yes. wrapped in a pancake, then pastry. Okay. It's lined with mushrooms, so well, yeah, it absorbs. Well, it, it absorbs, yeah. That, that, that's what it's, uh, that's the general idea. It's a whole meal in itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This particular recipe was taught to me by one of our old, old family chefs. He's still around. Can't see very much, but he's, he's, he can he's taste. Pro probably one of the best uh, cooks I've known now for the messy part. Right. What you have to do is take the masala, massage it in, massage it into the, the meat, mm -hmm. and the rest of it to spread around spread on. Okay. everywhere. Yep. Okay, good. So, I can see Bozo is not a man that likes getting his hands dirty. He's used to having his servants around. So, okay, here we go. Take this. Wow. Do you want me to hold that as, I come, as you come round? Well, I think it'll hold itself now. OK. All right. You, you can do that, but yeah. I, I think I, I just... All right, chef. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. No, 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 I was trying to help. You get me to do the shitty bits. Oh, there, there, You're yeah. in there doing the glamorous bits because you want to wrap it up. Yeah? Right. You, know, you can wrap ah, that up. Like... No, <laughs> Bullshit. See you next Tuesday. Gordon, come back, come back. We need you. We need to do the ditch. Come back, please. Please, Gordon, please. Okay, I'm coming back. We can't finish it without you. Thank God I wasn't your chef in your palace 20 years ago. I swear to God, your Rice Krispies would never be the same. <laughs> so I was trying to hold that on there for you so you can wrap the rest. I think Bozo considers me good below stairs material. Any other little shitty bits you want me to do, chef? If you pull that. I'll just... Let <laughs> me just touch it. Right, thank you, you thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Anything else? Right. <laughs> okay. Nah. Nice and tight. Nah, nice and tight. Now we've wrapped it up, we just need a bit of wire to just completely tie it up, yep. and it's 300 years recipe is ready to be cooked. <laughs>